on the opposite end for sure. Um, you know, I feel like us, you know, not taking one task at a time, you know, not, not overlooking any opponent uh, was kind of our main focus. And then, you know, we feel like we executed that well. Uh, really good team, Long Beach is. Um, but, you know, I feel like we took care of our game plan, executed what we need to do on the offensive end and defensive end, and, you know, took care of business. What was the difference between the first half and the second half? Um, I, I'd probably say our, you know, energy and effort for sure. Um, I think we had more focus on the defensive end in the second half to get more stops. Um, you know, that's a major part of our identity as a team and Arizona basketball's culture, um, you know, trying to get stops. When you hit your first three, how Yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, you see the first one go in, you know, get a little more confidence. Um, but I've been putting a lot more work in the gym this past, like, you know, two weeks. Um, so when I went in, you know, it was just another rep that went in. How about your dunk? That was big time, I can't lie. <laughs> yeah, it's your first one here? Yeah, it's my first one here, yeah. You were going to pass it off to, to Nope. No, I looked at Caleb. No, he looked at me. I was dunking that one. <laughs> he has he has enough dunks. He says he uh, owes you a pair of Kobe's now. Yeah, he does now. It was big time for me, sure, sure. No, he, he was calling for it, but no, nah, I need them Kobe's. <laughs> Wait, so if you were to grade that dunk, yeah. oh no, that was like a four, like a five, something. Like, it was gross and ugly, but a dunk is a dunk. I don't care. <laughs> as far as your overall performance, though, obviously you felt something. Mm -hmm. out there. Uh, no, but definitely um, a lot of outside noise lately to try to cancel that, make sure my mentality is good. And all uh, my teammates, we had like a talk before we left to come down here. Um, they want me to shoot the ball more. Uh, they have a lot of confidence in me, and, you know, I have to put more confidence in myself. And an uh, open shot for me on this team helps us, you know, we can rebound too, one of the great rebounding teams in the nation. Um, I got to do that. So that's kind of my main focus. How much of a relief is this whole thing win, unlike last year, just like a win off your shoulders? Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, um, they're a really good team too, especially if they stick with us in the first half. Um, you know, now we can relax a little bit, watch the film, you know, then get ready for either Nevada Day and coming up. Um, we we play really good defense this year, you know, and, and, and our main focus is our defense. I know if you want to talk about how good an offensive team we are, but we take pride on playing defense. Yeah, and when you guys play well offensively and defensively, you know, it's hard, it's hard to beat us. Yeah. You know, it's March. You know, every team gonna give uh, their best, and uh, and you just have to stick with it. You know, keep doing over and over and over again until the other team breaks. And we knew during halftime that they're gonna like fight, and we have to throw the first punch. And, and uh, that's what led to our 17 two run or something. So uh, after that, you know, they start cracking, and then we just play position by position. Covered your first two years after Gonzaga. Feel like, you know, we're, we're we're so fresh in this game yeah, yeah. How do you describe that path and, and maybe what the, uh, that head coach means to you? I mean, it's been a long journey, you know. It's been a long journey, struggling, but I loved every single, you know, bit of it because uh, I feel like struggle is what makes us who we are, you know, and I'm glad I went through that struggle and also be here today because I'm, I'm grateful for the opportunity. The school gave it to me and the coach gave it to me. How important is Tonic to you? He's important, you know, he's a leader more than that. He's like a dad because he cares about every single player. It's not only as a basketball player, but, but as a person, you know, and, and once you find people like that, you, you have to stay with those people. A fantastic second half for you guys. Uh, at one point, going back to the end of the first half and going up to the second half, you made a miss 15 straight shots, held them scoreless, I think, six minutes stretch. What, what, what kind of keyed the defense at that juncture that you guys were able to kind of shut down their attack? I think we was just, you know, knowing their, knowing their tendencies, knowing, you know, personnel and. Um, I think we was doing a lot of that, beating them to the spot. Big O was uh, helping us down low, uh, getting those block shots, and then we was finishing every, you know, every shot, limiting them to one shot, um, and finishing with a rebound. And uh, we was off to the break. So I think we was just uh, co constantly, you know, uh, helping each other, helping one another on the defensive end. A school record for an NCAA tournament game and made three pointers today. Thirteen made threes for the team. What was kind of going right on the perimeter, and how much did it kind of open things up when you guys were missing early layups? I, mean, I think that was just giving us those. Uh, when in that zone, uh, you know, it was so open, uh, so many gaps, so many spaces to, you know, 
take take and make those open threes and uh, we got a lot of guys that can you know make, knock down shots and uh, I think we was all confident in each and every one of us you know taking and making those shots and then if we do miss uh, we'll you know take care of it on the offensive of rebound so um, I think you know just ha taking care of uh, taking care of the ball and uh, finding open players and uh, that's what exactly what we did.